Ladies and gentlemen, on the Roadmap for Democracy and Sustainable Socioeconomic Development 2009 to 2014, the Ministry of Defense is mandated to conduct a review of all operational machinery for border control systems. Paramount to this outcome is the improvement of border control systems to meet the evolving transnational techno-criminal activities in the world today. Ladies and gentlemen, the need to improve border security, facilitate the mobility of people, and to guard against irregular migration are national objectives which every country uh, shares. Fiji is no exception. The launching of this IBM service today is proof of the Fijian government's commitment to the fulfillment of this objective on a national level. It is also a sign of the Fijian government's commitment to raising the bar and move towards international best practice in this area. Friends, the implementation of the IBMS was launched successfully approximately 12 months ago, as you've heard, here at Nandi International Airport. Within the last 12 months, there were further developments, new software created and aligned to have the system communicating to each other and more importantly, the retrieving of data for analysis purposes, which will then assist in decision making. The launching of the new servers will not only ensure that the system is up and running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but the data and information required is captured, stored and distributed on a timely basis. Given the modern challenges posed by migration in the 21st century, the IBM has proven to be a more effective tool in capturing migration data. In order to make full and effective use of this te te technological advancement, the installation and use of these servers are inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been made aware that the launching of the server, the servers will also enhance the captured data to be saved and distributed effectively on a timely basis. I see this as an achievement to the continuous efforts by the border control agency, agencies in strengthening cooperation. I would like to and congratulate the Department of Immigration, FERCA, and other border control agencies for their strong commitment to achieving government's agenda enhancing Fiji's border management system. It is crucial, therefore, that the launching of the IBM service is not done in isolation by the Department of Immigration. And I note with much appreciation the presence of other stakeholders who, con who continued contribution. The IBM's project in a vi is vital to ensure the optimization of results and the sustainability of this new venture. I must also congratulate and thank Insomatics, Informatics and its representative for developing the IBS system for Fiji. I am confident too that all Fijian border management agencies will continually, st continually strengthen their cooperation, exchange information, build capacities through training and con continue to work closely together for the improvement of border procedures in order to ensure that the efficient movement of people as well as facilitating trade and transit. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, IBM is a computer software system. It is us, the stakeholders in this room today and the institutions which we represent will be the ultimate determinants of the success or otherwise of this IBMS. The data which you will be able to collect from the new system will open up numerous opportunities for improving policies, rules and procedures for border management, both nationally and regionally. Friends, I call on you to take, take full advantage of these opportunities. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank all the departments of immigration's IBM, IBMS team, informatics and its company representative in Fiji, FERCA, Fiji Police Force, Biosecurity of Fiji, Ministry of Health, ITC, AFL, ATS, and airline representatives who are here this morning, 
I wish to thank you for your joint contribution in coordinating efforts to protect our national borders. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to now officially launch the new Integrated Border Management System Service, and I wish you all well in this venture.